start this up again. Right. Primer. Just start this and make sure it fires up. Okay, so that's the first job done. Now the conflicting people on the internet will tell you which way to tip these. The only really correct way to tip a mower is straight back, I believe, but I never like to tip it where the carburetor is going to be down, pointing towards the floor, so I think all the oil and everything runs through potentially into the carb. I'd rather tip it the other way on this mower here. I'm going to do this to get the blade off in a minute. So the first job, of course, is to just disconnect this lead. I like to tip it this way. So you can see the oil here, this side. What I want is the carburetor pointing up. I don't want any, anything going through the carburetor. I mean, you're going to get problems when you fire it up because you know you've got oil in all sorts of strange places. But you know, at least on this mower, we've got the exhaust and the carb at the same size, so it does eliminate a few things. I'm going to tip this on its side. We'll try and get this blade off. I've actually uh, jet washed off underneath this as well. It's about three inches of grass around it, but the uh, the blade does need to sharpen. Okay, so after everything I've said, I've got oil everywhere. Now the reason for that is that this is actually, uh, see the oil here, the dipstick? This is actually moving about because it's actually bolt missing through here. So because all this moves about, this actually pulls out, so I need even more trouble here. But uh, I need to sort that out, I need to put a part in here, I need to keep this, uh, this from coming out to so stop all the oil tipping out before I can tip it over and take the blade off. Let's have a look in here, see what we've got. I know, well I've already changed the oil seat mate, so I don't want to have to do another one. I'll go in my trusted draw look, let's see what we've got. Right buddy, let's see what we've got in here, let's choose one. Right, let's try this one. I'll take the tub out really, because otherwise I'll be coming back on forward in garage. This is one of the reasons I wanted my uh, door putting in the side, so I can take things in and out without having to mess about all the time, walking around the fence. So we'll take this outside and we'll try it. Right, so we'll just put another bolt in here, let's just tighten this up. I'm not sure why that's missing actually. I wonder if it's never been there or someone's serviced it and not done it properly. Let's just tighten that in there. Right, so with the uh, spark plug ignition lead removed, I've stopped oil pouring everywhere. You can now see underneath I've actually jet washed this off. And what I always do, I don't need to do it with this once I've already done it, is just wire brush around this bolt here. If this isn't clean, you put a socket on, you won't get it off. I always get some WD-40 as well. Always do this. I don't care if it, you think it's going to come off. If you round that off, you can't get the blade off and you can't sharpen it properly. So I always do that, just leave it a few minutes and we'll try and release this blade. So right, I've got this on here and I've wd it, it's still very, very tight. Don't forget to remove the lead and move it far enough away from the spark plug as well. Please don't do it wrong. Don't want any accidents. I'll take this off. It's come off quite nice. I've just left it five minutes actually while we had a cup of tea. And we'll take that off and remember which way around it goes as well. Just pull that out. And we'll remove that. Now we've got this blade off. You can see here it wants a, a, bit, a bit of a sharp look as well. So we've got that off. It might just be worth filming under here as well. You can see here that uh, this belt guard, I always do this, it only takes a few minutes if you're doing a blade anyway. This belt guard here, we're going to unclip this to work out what, exactly how it's hanging on. I'm not sure just at the minute. We'll take that off and we'll just take all the uh, the old grass out from around where this belt goes. It doesn't look too bad at this part, but I'm sure at the back near the transmission box it'll be uh, covered. So I'll take a look at how to get that off and we'll uh, just remove some debris from in there. So as I've started working on this mower, it's more evident than anything that someone's actually had a go at this because you can see this this cover. Someone's, you know, I've just taken this off and it's missing all the uh, it's missing all the uh, screws that hold it back in. No one's bothered putting it back together properly. So somebody's obviously had the uh, the, the top off this uh, engine and I put another recoil on it. I would imagine or a, uh, a magneto, but I'm going to take this off underneath. But I'm, um, you know. Would it have been that difficult to put those back in? I like to make sure things are right when I sell them. I don't want any problems. I want it to be sold and, you know, stay sold. Now, you could argue that once it's sold on eBay or wherever you're selling it, that's it. But, you know, it's a five-minute job to do it right, so let's do it right. That's a little bit unusual, this uh, this belt guard. But there's actually, as I've looked, it's actually uh, screwed on at the back. 
Now, I think there's a total of six screws supposed to be in this, and there's actually just one. I mean, they've put whoever's done it's put it back on with one. I mean, that's really just laziness, and it's. So I'm going to take that one off, and this thing's just going to drop off. I'm surprised really that it hadn't fallen down with the weight of the grass in it and snapped the belt. We've been very lucky. Right, so we'll just undo this uh, this one screw. Even the one that's in, actually, it isn't even in right. Even that's hanging out. So let's see what we've got here. Mm. See, the whole thing's just loose. It just will pop out when I look underneath it. I'll just pull it off. It's a little bit of further work. There was actually one more. There was one in the top. There's still one underneath. It's still one off. It's a massive guard. This. There's actually one that's uh, just under here somewhere. So I'll undo that one as well. Actually, I'm just filming it, I can't remember where it was now. Oh yeah, I remember. It's actually on the top here, so very unusual. If you've got one of these MTD mowers and you want to know how to get this belt guard off, it's uh, not the easiest thing to do, really. It takes a few minutes, but once you know, you know, don't you? It's another thing I've learnt. Right, so, finally I think I've got them all undone. I'll just turn this, try and pop this out of here. You can see here. I mean, the, the lady I bought it off actually said that she'd had it serviced now. Um, Maybe she has, not sure, but there's not much grass under here. Unless it's because it's a big uh, belt guard and it actually does the job. There's not a real lot in here, look. There's a few bits that want uh, just throwing away, but generally I'm just going to brush that out and I'm going to pop that back on. The, uh, you can see the belt on here. It's actually got a, a tensioner on this side as well. It's all working okay, so I'm not going to mess about with that at all. And one thing I will say about this uh, this MTD mower, this is come say engine on this, the driving's really quick. It's, you know, it's a lot quicker than the uh, the normal Briggs ones I do, or Mountfield ones, or the Honda ones as well. It's got a really fast drive on. You're not running after it, but you need to, you know, you need to keep up. So I'll clear this out and I'll put this back together. We'll sharpen this blade up and put it on. And so far, really, mower one for £26, pounds, I'm, uh, I'm pretty delighted with this. So that's cleaned out. I'm just going to find uh, a few screws and we'll put this back together properly. Yeah, you put me WD-40 away. Look, my tub snap looks. I've got the ice tub. It's got a WD-40 on it. What don't you do with that? You don't eat it. I'll drink no, you don't. What? Do you drink anything in the garage ever? No. Never. Unless your dad says. Unless your dad says. Well, you don't. Nothing's for drinking in the garage, is it? I Good lad. So I've got this blade. I'm just going to run this along my grind in the garage. I don't do uh, blade sharpening videos because you know people can get obviously they can get damaged. But I just run the the, uh, the grinder straight across this. Take any massive nicks out. And if you can see here, I can get good focus on it. You can, if you can see the angle of this blade across here, there, all you really got to do with a grinder, or you can do it with a file, is just follow the uh, the angle of this. Uh, no, it's been ground off. Get the same angle. You want it somewhere near because the angle's set to give it enough uplift to uh, push it through the back of the mower into the grass box. So, you know, don't just take it off and put yourself a, a guess one on. Try and follow an original one if it's good. Take any big nicks out and just go across twice. And basically I've just got a blade balance as I've shown in previous videos. You want to make sure that it's not all over the place when you put it on. You want to make sure it's centred so there's no vibrations when you put this back on your mower. So I'm going to sharpen that up and I'm going to put this mower back on. Then we'll have the blade sharpened, we'll have the, uh, the uh, guard cleared out underneath, the new plug. The oil is done and uh, really there's not a real lot to do with that but uh, I just wanted to show you. Well, let's call this mower 1 because this is mower 1 of the uh, new series of videos. This is uh, an MTD with a Tecumseh motor on 3.7 horsepower actually I'm just looking at the thing now I don't know if it's got a year on it this one if I can see it on there now 46 uh, SP which is self propelled so let's put this back together after we've sharpened this blade and we'll give it a clean up and this one can go in the garage till next year this is uh, mower number one that's what I like about having my garage sorted out we've got no leaking roof anymore I can just bring these uh, into this side door. Mm. I've got plenty of space in the minute. I've sold quite a few this summer. Mm. Not as much as other years. I've been very busy mm. doing some decorating at home and all the jobs that I've needed to get done for quite a while. But uh, yeah, we're back in action. This is uh, mm. going to be a good one. Probably clean up all right. I'm not sure whether I might paint that as well. That uh, that uh, deck on there might look quite nice. Should clean up pretty good that one, especially with the grass box on there. Always look much better. So that's us for tonight. We've uh, just come outside and done a bit on that one tonight. What? Because, um, what are you filming, lad? The garage. You're filming my new ceiling? Yeah. You're filming this bit here where you can see how long. Um, we're just going to uh, finish there tonight. It's, it's a nice night, it's the 10th of September. There's not too many now, but it stays light very long, so. Um, 
we'll have a bit of a tidy up and we'll go in, we'll get this back together and test it another night, can't we buddy? Yes. Thanks for helping me mate. I'm going to say bye for now. Goodbye and thank you for watching our videos.